Okay, we're back and I have my piece of foam cord here. Now this you can purchase in all sorts of different colors and since I'm doing a black cap, it turned out, it's perfect since I could purchase it in black. Um, it's basically two pieces of poster board between some foam and what I wanna do it is, I mean, the top of the cap is just a square so we just need to determine what size square we need. Now this was a good size for the one that I just cut down which was a five inch cake. Um, so for a five inch cake, you need about a six inch board. Okay, so that looks just about right. Okay, now even though it's black, I still cover it in black fondant, but I don't cover the bottom part. That's why I like the black, so if you see part of it, it's fine. But I like to put the fondant on top and around the edges so you don't see the, the edges here that are all cut up. Okay, so I need to go ahead and roll out some more black fondant. Okay, so it needs to be at least the same size as the square. Just a little bit larger so it can go over the edges. So I can cut a lot of this off. I like to flip it over. Put some shortening on the back. And then pop it right on top of the foam core. Go around the edges, smooth the top, and then go around the edges. And then have your pizza cutter at an angle and cut in. Remove the excess. And then I usually pick it up with a spatula. And then you can just smooth out those edges there. Okay, so to attach it, what I want to do is just put a little bit more buttercream, place it on top, and this is the front. You can either 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 have it straight in the front. I like to kind of have the point more at the front. And then we need to take another skewer, and it can't be taller than the cap. Um, I mean, it can't. It's funny to say that it can't be taller than the cap. It actually has to be slightly taller than the cap so this will stay on. If I go below the cap, then, then this part will actually just slide off. So we can go ahead and just pop it in, take our hammer, and this is going to go through all the cakes. So at this point, what I want to do is just kind of cut it off as close as I can. Right here I damaged the fondant a bit. That's okay, just smooth it back out. And that's what we're gonna put the tassel up on here. Okay. We can make sure we like the position. And around the cat part down here, I like to actually take, this is a quilter's wheel, and I like to go around like it's a little bit of stitching down here. Okay, so just went all the way around. And then sometimes the caps have a little bit of a line from the center going down. So I'll just take this and all this is gonna do, it's just gonna make a little impression in the fondant. We'll take our stitching wheel and stitch in there also. All right, for, for the next step, I need my clay gun. So I will go get that and we'll be right back.